So you've decided to go ahead and move to Idaho. There's so many great spots here in the Treasure Valley that I think we need to check them out. Let's start out with Boise next. Dave Edwards, Treasure Valley Dave, coming back at you one more time. And today we're talking about the cultural hotspot of the entire state. And that is, of course, Boise. So many options. We have biking and hiking and trails and floating the river. We've got great theaters downtown. We've got live performances. We've got uh, great restaurants. I mean, this is just the place to be. And we're going to be exploring Boise today. And if you stick around to the end, we're going to go through some very interesting facts and figures that maybe you didn't know about. So we'll see you there. And right now, let's dive into Boise. So let's start out now looking at downtown Boise. So what do we have in downtown Boise? What's well, the very heart of the city? Um, you know, we have the Capitol there and our government offices, but also we have some great restaurants. We have the theaters downtown and um, it's just a great place to go walking and enjoy yourself. Unlike other capital cities around this country and maybe not all of them, but Boise is just absolutely beautiful. I mean, it's clean, it's pristine. Um, you don't have those issues that some other major cities and other states might have. Boise is just a real treat to get around. Parking, eh, it's a little tight. There are, however, great parking garages all around the city. And typically it's free for the first hour or a buck or something like that. It's not gonna kill you. It's funny, we were just talking with a, a great couple from California and they're telling me how They've got parking garages that are like $50 for an hour. It's like, that's not Idaho. That's not how we do it. So here we are right now in Ann Morrison Park down in the heart of Boise. It's just absolutely gorgeous here. Got the Boise River right underneath of us. There'll be people floating down this all summer long to stay nice and cool. Boise State University on that side. We got the zoo right across the street and the Capitol's just a few blocks down there. What a great place to come and just enjoy. Here we are at, guess where? Boise State University, home of the big blue, the biggest blue field in the entire world. Just on the other side of the little Boise River from downtown. Isn't this great? Let's go explore. So here we are at BSU campus, Boise State University. What a fabulous place this is. We've got the, the big blue field. I'm sure that you've already heard of that. That's the Albertson Stadium. We've got the Extra Mile Arena right next door. At the other end, we've got the Morrison Center for all those cultural events going on. And this all backs up to the Boise River. It's so peaceful and quiet. We've got great parks right here. What a fabulous situation for us, for a kid going to college. Can you, you just cannot beat this. It's friendly, it's safe, and there's just so much going on. Now we're up in the north part of Boise, which is kind of vast. It's kind of on the top edge. It's it runs right up against the hills. I mean, it's beautiful. You've got nature just right there. You come down a little bit towards closer to downtown and it feels like you're stepping back a hundred years. You've got these grand old houses. You've got these wide streets and boulevards. Um, you have little tiny shops and it's just uh, just a great, like a community within a community. Just fabulous. You know what I love about this part of town is all the diversity. I mean, every one of these houses is different. There's no cookie cutters going on here. And every one of these places has a story to tell. Generations of love meeting around the table in the fireplace, Christmases. It just, it just makes your mind just, just kind of wander off and it's so enjoying. But wait, first, let me tell you about this. We've got this great infographic that takes all the stuff that we've just been talking about and put it in one convenient place. And it's attractive too, isn't it? All right, now back to the show. So now 
now we find ourselves in Southeast Boise, down here in the Warm Springs Mesa area. Pretty nice view, huh? So now we're going to check out East Boise. This is kind of that area that's, I don't know, a little bit outside of downtown. It's still like 100 years old. And what's cool about this, this is along Warm Springs Boulevard. These houses, they were, they were plumbed, they were outfitted with geothermal uh, water to heat their houses in the winter. So there's no furnace, there's no anything else. They just go turn a valve and the hot water comes to the house. I mean, talk about going green. These guys were light years ahead a century ago. It's just fabulous. And these old houses are, they have so much character and they're charming. The neighborhoods are great with these huge trees. It just really takes you back to a simpler time. South Boise. I'm sure you've heard of that. This is one of the fastest growing areas in town. And why is that? Well, one, it's very quick and easy to get into town. Um, it's close to the freeway. And there's still a bit of space out there. And it's just kind of uh, on the edge of rural and city. So it's, it's very desirable. So you've probably heard of the Boise Bench, right? If you've done any research at all. And what is that? Well, the downtown area, closer to where the Boise River is, is really quite a bit lower in elevation. And there's this really marked difference in elevation as you hit this one particular part of town. And right here at the train station is right at the top of that. You can stand at the train station and you're looking down to the bottom of the bench. Now this bench extends out for miles and miles, but this is really where the train station is, is kind of the very top of the bench. And you can just check out these views that we have there. Welcome home to Boise. And then we've got West Boise. So this is where we have the huge mall that you're eventually going to get to. And it's not close to downtown, but it's not that far away. The freeway is right there, so you can jump on that and you can be in downtown in minutes. One of the cool things is this is uh, like the hub of all sorts of economic activity. Like I said, we have the mall, we have all sorts of big shops, little shops, um, shooting ranges, whatever. And it's kind of uh, runs right up to Meridian. It's sort of like the gateway to Meridian. So uh, that's West Boise. Well, I'm glad you guys stuck around for those facts and figures and highlights that we talked about earlier. Our staff's done some fabulous research. And did you know that the cost of living in Boise is 92.5% of the national average? And housing is only 88% of the national average. That's 12% below the average. And there's a lot of stuff to throw in the average there. The Boise Nampa area is one of the most secure large metropolitan areas in the entire United States. Well, what does that mean? That means we have very low crime compared to other places. And our weather here is absolutely great. It's very mild in the winter. It's very beautiful in summer. We got 260 some days of sunshine every year uh, on average. Um, we're surrounded by these mountains that really protect us from all this really nasty weather that Canada seems to always send our way. And when it comes to education, we've got so many different schools here, so many different options for you guys to take advantage of. We have you know, public schools, we have tons of charter schools, we got private schools. We've got higher education of all stripes. So, uh, education, we got you covered. Everywhere here in the Treasure Valley is easily accessible. I mean, we've got the freeway that goes from one end to the other. And, you know, you can get just about anywhere very quickly. We also have all these sites. The beautiful thing about the Treasure Valley is that up north and south of the freeway, about every mile, we have another road that goes just all the way across the valley. So, we got the freeway, we got all these back roads that you can get just wherever you need to, plus the airport. I mean, if you're coming in or you're going out, it's a smaller airport. It's very easy to get in and out of. Security is like nothing um, as far as your time. I mean, they're very secure as far as security goes. But the time that it takes to get through there, you're talking minutes. Um, it's just a great place to be. So you want to live in a place that has great economic activity, right? Well, one great indicator of that is the unemployment rate we are at 2.6% unemployment. Now, economists agree, which is probably one of the very few things they ever agree on, 
is that full employment is about 4% and we're sitting at about half of that. I mean, we have such a demand for, for labor in, at, at all strata. And so that puts a, a pressure on wages to keep coming up, which puts a demand for, uh, you know, more houses and better living. And it's just all this great stuff going on. And while small businesses, mom and pop shops, they are a, a huge consumer of all this labor going on. We also have some great big businesses here, some very high tech places as well. For instance, we have uh, HP, Hewlett Packard, you probably heard of them, uh, Micron. Uh, we have various different uh, medical systems up here, St. Luke's and St. Al's. Just that uh, we're on cutting edge, just about whichever direction you wanna go. I've so enjoyed sharing with you what I found out about Boise. And if you've enjoyed this, please share with all your friends and family and like and subscribe and check out these other videos and click on that link below to my website where we've got that great infographic that my staff has put together just for you. Remember, Treasure Valley Dave, helping you get home.